In this video, I'm going to give you an introduction to the reporting section within Zoho Books. Hey everyone, my name is Stephanie Smith and I'm a Zoho Finance Partner at AIO Bookkeeping. At AIO Bookkeeping, we help business owners do business better by getting their bookkeeping in order and reconnecting them with their business finances. Thanks for joining us on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Now let's dive in. Reports in Zoho Books is so important when it comes to understanding and interpreting your data as well as understanding how your business is doing. Um, how are your profits? Or how are your expenses? Are you making money or losing money? Um, so it's very important that you have an understanding of how to find these reports and how to run these reports. So I'm gonna show you that here in a second. But I do want to just call out that the reports are only as good as the data that you put into the system. So if you put garbage in, you get garbage out. So it's important that you make sure that you are importing all the information that you need into the system, all of your sales, all of your expenses, all of that information needs to go into Zoho Books for you to get the most robust reporting necessary. So to, to find your reports themselves, off to the left-hand side in the menu, there is a reports option and you'll just click that. And when you do that, you'll see all of the reports that are available for you to run. They're all categorized in different groups. Like this business overview one is typically the most common ones that you'll see, like your profit and loss and your balance sheet and your cash flow statement. You'll also see groups for reports on your sales or your receivables or payables. There's also payments received or purchases and expenses. One about taxes and banking. There's a whole section that's labeled accountant. Um, anytime CPAs will request one or more of these reports to get the information that they need about your books. Um, and then there's also currency and activity. So there's lots of reports to choose from in the reports section here. Up at the top, you can search for reports. Like if I couldn't find what I was looking for, I can start typing it in here and select it this way. Um, and I could also just scroll down and see them all in a list. My recommendation when you come into the report section is to go ahead and favorite the ones that you use the most by clicking the stars. So if I know I'm going to run my profit and loss, I'm going to click the star. So it shows up right here at the top and it creates a favorite section. I'm going to add my balance sheet, my cash flow statement, and then every time I open the reports section here, they'll be right at the top and I don't have to go looking for them. That makes it super easy for you to run your reports. You can also configure your report layout if you really want to. Um, there's a lot of options here from your what size you want your table to be, the display and the details and the font and everything. So if you want to change the way your report looks, you can do that from here. I'm going to click into the profit and loss and just show you what that looks like. So here's my profit and loss. You can see the date here. It's for last year, 2022. Um, you can scroll down and see all of my options and all, all of the data here. I can use this collapse all button. We'll collapse anything that has those child accounts or I can expand it to expand it all as well. I can add a temporary note if I wanted to put some notes in um, the footer of the report while you're exporting it, uh, or I can just not bother with that. You can also see the, the accounting type that's up here. This one is accrual. If I wanted it on cash, I would have to change the report to do that. Um, things to note here, you can change your date using this drop down here to one of the, the settings that they have um, preset. You can choose custom date range to choose custom date range. And then there's a custom report option if you want to really customize the report itself. Over on the other side, you have schedule report. You can click this option if you want to maybe get an email every week with this profit and loss. Um, you can set this up to, to send to you for whatever frequency that you choose and you can set up emails uh, for recipients who get it and whether or not it's a PDF or um, an Excel file. So that's a great option. You can share this with other people or users within your system that also have access to Zoho. You can print off your report if you want to and you can also export it as a PDF or um, Excel or even to Zoho Sheets. So there's lots of options when it comes to reading your reports, running them and saving them. Um, this is 
a general overview of the reports. Most of the reports look very similar to this and then we'll have the same options up here. I hope that this is helpful. I would recommend going and exploring what reports are out here and really becoming more familiar with the data that's available and the data that you need to make good business decisions. Thanks again for watching. I will see you on the next video.